So if you want to dictate your text in Microsoft Word or in Excel or in PowerPoint or in any other Windows application for that matter, then what you can do, you can use Bohemicus for this. And namely, you can use the Bohemicus application for Android, which I have uh, right here. It's uh, running in my mobile phone and uh, it works this way. Uh, this mobile phone uh, uses the Android operating system, which has the really excellent Google speech recognition engine. And when I started developing this, I was like, well, the Google speech recognition engine is really excellent. So why not use it also in Windows? And so I decided to connect this Android phone to my PC and uh, to the um, Bohemicus application for Windows. And like this, I can use the speech recognition also in uh, any Microsoft uh, Office program or in any other Windows uh, software. So it works like this. You just uh, run the Bohemicus application in your mobile phone, in your Android mobile phone. And uh, then you also start the instance of Bohemicus for Windows, uh, which uh, which you will do by clicking the Bohemicus icon here. And as you can see, watch this area here. Bohemicus will now confirm that it's been connected to this Android phone. So this Windows application called Bohemicus is now connected to this Android phone. And now for this Android phone, I can just uh, take this phone, I can just uh, put it right uh, next to my keyboard and I don't need to take uh, any care of it anymore. I can now concentrate uh, on my work in uh, Windows. I can minimize Bohemicus and I can go to my target application, which is Microsoft Word in this case. And if I want now to dictate some text, and what I can do, I can just activate the listening process in my Android phone by pressing this uh, tilde key. This is this key, this key on my PC keyboard. So when I press this tilde key, I will start the listening process in my Android phone. This Android phone will be listening to me. It will be listening to what I say. Then it will analyze and convert my speech to text and it will send it back to my PC. <coughs> Uh, to Bohemicus uh, in my uh, PC uh, and uh, in turn also uh, to this Microsoft Windows. So I'm going to dictate some text uh, in Czech, so don't worry if you don't understand. It's a pretty minor language. By the way, this will work for many, many minor languages such as Czech, Slovak, Hungarian, Finnish, uh, Swedish, uh, Dutch, uh, really for all minor languages. So I'm going to show you how it works. I'm going to dictate a couple of sentences in Czech so that you can see how it works. And I'm starting uh, right now by pressing the tilde key. So again, this is this key right here. Okay, ready? So I'm pressing the tilde key now, starting to dictate. Tento spotřebič mohou používat děti od 8 let a osoby s tělesným nebo mentálním postižením nebo neskušené osoby, pokud jsou pod řádným dohledem nebo byly informovány o tom, jak výrobek bezpečně používat a rozumí možným nebezpečím. So as you can see, it works uh, pretty nicely. Maybe let's do another segment, pressing the tilde key again. Čištění a údržbu prováděnou uživatelem nesmějí provádět děti, pokud nejsou starší 8 let a nejsou pod dohledem. Yeah, so it works as you can see, it works uh, pretty nicely. Um, I could even change the language if I, if I wanted to. So for this I can go to Bohemicos, uh, to language and settings, and to voice. And then I can change my language because right now my phone is uh, is set to the Czech language, which is the default language of my phone. But if I wanted to, I can choose any other language from this long, long list of languages. So for the sake of argument, let's uh, let's uh, select the French and French, which is spoken in France, which is here. And I just press this set button, and my phone will now do the this is sound. I click yes. My phone just whizzed, which is to confirm that the language has been uh, changed. 
And now I can go back to my Microsoft Word and I can now dictate something in French. So pressing the tilde key again, dictating something in French this time. Garde cet appareil et le cordon d'alimentation hors de portée des enfants de moins de 8 ans. And maybe another sentence. Les enfants ne doivent pas jouer avec l'appareil. As you can see, it works uh, pretty nicely. And uh, of course, this is uh, Microsoft Word, but uh, if I want to, I can go to, for instance, to Microsoft Excel, which we have uh, right here. And it will work pretty much the same way. So I can just press the TLD key again and dictate something in French again. Avant de brancher la bouilloire électrique à une prise de courant, vérifiez que la tension indiquée sur l'étiquette signalétique correspond à la tension électrique de la prise. And as you can see, it works uh, just as fine. And of course, just to show you how it works uh, in other applications, I can go even to Microsoft, uh, to Microsoft uh, PowerPoint. So as you can see, I can use the very same technique here. So pressing uh, tilde key and dictating something in French again. Gardez cet appareil et le cordon d'alimentation hors de portée des enfants de moins de 8 ans. As you can see, it works pretty, pretty much the same. So this is how you actually use uh, the speech recognition um, uh, in uh, Windows. You can use your Android phone with the Bohemicus application uh, running in it. It will connect to your PC and then you can just uh, very, uh, very comfortably dictate uh, your texts. Uh, one thing that you need to know is that you need to Bluetooth pair your phone with your PC first. Uh, if you don't know how to pair your phone with your PC, please uh, watch the video. Uh, I will link this video in um, in the comment, uh, sorry, in the description section. So watch this video on how to pair, how to Bluetooth pair your phone with your PC. And that's actually it. Uh, once once your once your phone, once your Android phone is paired with PC, you can just run Bohemicus in your phone. You can run Bohemicus uh, in Windows which we have uh, right here. You can perhaps set your language here and in this, at this voice tab. And that's it. it. You then just go to your target application and you start the dictating process. So this is it. So thank you for watching and see you in some other video.